Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got this uh, pink rectangle uh, A, B, C, D and this uh, circle with the center O put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, pink rectangle is uh, 540 centimeter square and one of its side lengths uh, A, D is uh, 15 centimeter and moreover this center O is uh, on this uh, side uh, AB and now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and in this video I am going to share with you with three different uh, approaches so therefore please watch the video till the very end and here's our very first step. And let's focus on this uh, pink rectangle whose area has been given to us as uh, 540 and if one of its uh, side lengths is uh, 15. And now we are going to calculate uh, its uh, side uh, AB. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times uh, width. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of rectangle is uh, 540 equals to our width is 15 times the length uppercase L. Let's divide both sides by 15 to isolate L. This 15 and 15 is gone. So therefore our L value turns out to be 36 centimeter. So therefore our this length AB turns out to be 36. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this side length AD equal to this side length BC. If this side length is 15 then this side length is going to be 15 as well. So therefore in this uh, next diagram we can see that our this uh, AB length is uh, 36 and this uh, BC length uh, is uh, 15 and furthermore uh, this whole uh, AE is the diameter of this uh, circle and now we are going to calculate the radius uh, R of this uh, circle and in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this uh, center O with this uh, point uh, C and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, OBC and here is our next step let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle OBC we can see this uh, OC is the radius uh, of this circle let me label this radius as uh, lowercase uh, r and likewise uh, this uh, AO is the radius uh, lowercase r as well and we know that this whole uh, AB distance is uh, 36 so therefore this segment uh, OB is going to be 36 uh, minus uh, R and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here is our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square and in our case uh, OC is our uh, hypotenuse. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula A in our case is uh, 36 uh, minus uh, R whole square plus b in our case is 15 square equal to our hypotenuse is r whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on the left hand side binomial so therefore this could be written as 1296 minus 72 r plus uh, r square plus uh, 225 equal to r square on the right hand side and now we can see this r square and r square they are gone let's combine these uh, like terms and if i move this uh, 72 r on the other side so therefore we can write uh, 72 r equal to 15 uh, 21 and now let's divide both sides by 72 to isolate r we can see 72 and 72 is uh, gone and on the right hand side uh, this fraction could be reduced uh, by dividing by 9 uh, on the numerator and the denominator so therefore we can see that our radius uh, 
r turns out to be 169 divided by 8 centimeter so that's the radius of this circle turns out to be 169 divided by 8 centimeter and that could also be written as 21.125 centimeter and now i'm going to share with you the second method and here in this next time i have extended this line c b all the way to this point f and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord and here we can see o e is the radius uh, that is perpendicular to this chord uh, c f so therefore uh, this segment uh, c b is going to be equal to b f if this segment is 15 then this segment has got to be 15 centimeter as well and now let's assume that this uh, tiny segment b e is x and now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords theorem according to this theorem if two chords uh, intersect in a circle then the products of the major of the segments of the chord uh, are equal as you can see in this uh, given diagram and here we can see these two chords AC and BD intersect uh, each other and as a result we get uh, the segments A, B, C and uh, D such that uh, A, B equals to C, D and now let's our attention back to our this uh, problem we got these uh, two chords uh, A, E and this chord uh, C, F and they intersect uh, each other at this point uh, B and as a result we get these uh, segments uh, 36 uh, x uh, 15 and uh, 15 let me label this uh, segment a this segment b this segment c and uh, d then we can fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we're gonna have a uh, 36 uh, x uh, equals to 15 uh, times uh, 15 so therefore we are going to have a 36 x equals to 225 let's divide both sides by 36 so therefore our x value turns out to be 225 divided by 36 so therefore our this b length which is represented by x turns out to be 225 divided by 36 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, a e length uh, is the sum of these two individual uh, lengths uh, a b plus uh, b e as you can see in this uh, equation and we can see our a b length uh, is uh, 36 and our b e length is uh, 225 divided by 36 as you can see in this uh, next step and here in this uh, next step i have uh, added all these uh, fractions and it turns out to be a e equals to 15 21 divided by 36 and now let's make an observation we can see a e in our case uh, is the diameter of uh, this uh, circle so a e equals to 2 times uh, radius r so therefore i can write uh, 2 times r equal to 15 21 uh, divided by 36 let me multiply both uh, sides by 1 divided by 2 to isolate uh, r so therefore uh, this uh, 2 and 1 divided by 2 is gone so therefore our radius uh, r when we simplify the right hand side is going to give us uh, 169 divided by 8 so therefore our radius uh, r once again turns out to be 169 divided by 8 uh, centimeter and that's equal to 21.125 uh, centimeter as well by using the second uh, method and now let me share with you the third method and here in this uh, next step i have connected uh, this uh, point c with the uh, a and uh, e and now let's recall the Thales theorem according to this theorem if A, C and E are the distinct uh, points on the circle and uh, the line A is the diameter then the angle A, C is a right uh, angle and here we can see A, 
C and E are the points uh, on the circle and AE is the diameter. So no wonder this angle uh, ACE is going to be 90 degrees. And now let's recall the Euclid's uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if we got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC with this uh, perpendicular uh, CD, then this uh, height uh, H square is going to be equal to x uh, times y as you can see in this uh, given uh, equation. Let me label this height uh, BC as uh, H. I'm going to label this uh, AB length uh, as X and BE length uh, as Y. Go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So H in our case is 15 whole square equal to 36 uh, times Y. So therefore uh, 36 Y turns out to be 200. Uh, 25. Let's divide both sides by 36 to isolate y. So therefore y turns out to be 225 divided by 36. So therefore our this uh, BE length which is y turns out to be 225 divided by 36. And now we can see this whole uh, length uh, AE equals to the sum of these two individual lengths uh, AB and uh, BE as you can see in this uh, equation. And now we can see AB value is 36 and uh, BE length uh, is 225 divided by 36. As you can see in this uh, next step. And if we simplify this uh, right hand side, it turns out to be 1521 divided by 36. And let's make an observation. We can see this whole AE is the diameter of this circle. So this is going to be two times uh, R. So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, AE by 2 times R. Let me multiply both sides by 1 divided by 2 to isolate uh, R. So therefore, uh, our radius R, when we simplify the right hand side, uh, turns out to be 169 divided by 8 uh, centimeter. So thus the radius uh, of this uh, circle turns out to be 169 divided by 8 uh, centimeter and this is going to be equal to 21.125 centimeter by using this uh, third method. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.